This is where my viewers will write in to me and I will give them my advice. And I will open up for you listeners too, if you guys have any advice on this one. But this is a really good one. He said, I'm a big fan of your work and vlogs. I was wondering if it's possible to get out of the friend zone with someone you might be interested in. He said, keep up the good work. If you're ever in New York after the, the pandemic is over, I would love the opportunity to meet you. And we're just going to say Jay from NYC. That's what we're going to say. So I said, um, which I thought was pretty good. I actually did a video on this um, a few years ago about it's actually a guy that was dating a young lady that well he wanted to date a young lady that was in the same class with him okay. and they was like long distance and he was trying to you know i told him the best thing is try to stay in the friend zone but once that's you know but this is my advice that i gave to him i said no being in the friend zone seems to be like you will never get the prize slash girl but if you pay pay close attention to your friend you actually have more of an upper hand than the other guy out there Ask yourself a few questions first before you move forward on moving out of the friend zone and into the lover slash relationship zone. One, are you their ideal mate or lover? And two, do you have all that they are looking for? You understand what I'm saying? Yep. All right. Number three, are you willing to possibly lose a good friendship due to your interest in them on another, you know, mm -hmm. for that? All right, I said, if you answer yes to all of them, then let's move on to the next step. Start to show your interest in them by flirting, but being respectful and doing or giving little gestures that will spark that interest in you. And what I mean by that is like, you know, do something that you know that they like or what they've been, because I if, if you that friend and they can talk to you about the friend, about their own relationship that they have with their boy, their boyfriends or whatever, and you know you might be better than that, that you can give that what they needed that they searching for, then guess what? Do that. Mm -hmm. Show them better than tell them. Then once you start to show them, then you take your friend out to dinner and you sit down and you be honest and open about taking that friendship to another level. And that's going into a sexual relationship or whatever you want to call it, you know, dating or whatever, whatever. But this is also what I said. I said, uh... Take your friend out to dinner and put it out there. Let them know how you feel about them and that you are willing to be their person, lover slash partner. Also, what I said is communicate with each other that you will remain friends first in a relationship. And that means caring and being truthful and honest with each other. And lovers are secondary. And I don't know if you guys understand that, but the thing is that you have to be friends first before you can be lovers. And that's even in a marriage. You got to be friends first in there where you can sit down and be honest and talk to each other and see each other as individual. That's where the friends come up, seeing each other as individual. And we sit down and we talk. And then, then that's where the love is at. You know what I'm saying? And that's where that respect comes from. And that's where all that secondary to love making and all of that come from, from there. You got it? You got it? Yeah. Oh, you say, Ron C says, friend zone is dangerous to mess with. You know, it can be. It Honestly, it can it, it can be. But that's if the other person is on bullshit. Can, can we be honest? Mm -hmm. Because if you, if you was friends with this person and you hear, you hear, you hear what they go through, you hear what they're talking about with the dudes or the guys or the, or the females or whatever, and you know this, so you know what they're not looking for. Right. You know what they're looking for. So if you're not who they're looking for, then don't go there just because they got a fat ass. Or you, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's the problem. We got to start to be honest. Better be like Spider Man if you cross the friend zone line. Hopefully, if it fails, you can reel it back into after you crawl around. I see what you mean in that. I, I, I do. I see what you mean. And I guess that's why it has to be. Uh, that foundation, that friendship foundation, right. Right. you know, and, and be open with that communication on it for real. You know, sometimes guys want to do a lot, you know, they want to be, they want to cross out of that friend zone and into that relationship zone, but don't know what it really takes to be in that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Cause we might go out and kick it and go here and there. There's a difference when you are in a relationship with that person. Mm -hmm. That's why when you there, you have to be honest about who 
you are. You know what I'm saying? Even in that friend zone, I believe every relationship that I have versus friends and everything, they know how I am. I'm like this all the way around. There is nothing. I'm very vocal. I'm very honest. I am very loyal. I don't know shit, know nothing. But it all coming from a loving place. <laughs> and I know a lot of they like, I can't be in no relationship with her ass. She too demanding. Yes, I am very demanding but I would give you everything, <laughs> but I'm very demanding. You know what I mean? So that's the thing is don't just listen to what they say halfway. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that you are. That's why I said, make sure you have everything that they need and that they want out of a relationship and don't just be coming sniffing like the other people do. You understand what I'm saying? Because that's what don't make a good friend when you know what's been hurting her and then you're going to come and add on to it pretending and faking coming with the representative we were talking about a few weeks ago there you go seeing if you can really hit it <laughs> you right ron yes exactly 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 all right so i want to thank y'all it is the end of the show hey it's your girl the goddess now and i hope you enjoyed that last ask my own letter if you got any love, sex, or relationship advice that you need, you can email us at info at asmyomi.com. Also, if you like this video, like, subscribe, share, comment, all of those good things. I want you to keep it safe. Ask Naomi Bridges the Gap. This is where we talk about love, sex, relationships, cultural differences, and so much more.